If you would have told me, hey, Andy, at some point, one of your favorite actors, Jack Black, is going to force you to defend Donald Trump on Popcorn Planet, I would have said, you're crazy. But here we are. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And as we continue to break down what happened, the failed assassination attempt of Donald Trump, how it happened, what really happened, I wanted to pause and address this story, which is breaking this afternoon, which is of Jack Black and his bandmate, Kyle Gass of the band Tenacious D, who are both in hot water right now for saying something at last night's concert. Now, this is hot water they cooked themselves, and I want you to see it before I comment. Here they are on stage. <laughs> Don't miss Trump next time. Thank you. Don't miss Trump next time, Kyle made on his birthday wish as he blew out his candles. Why is that funny? And why is the whole crowd cheering? I mean, look, this isn't good. This is so bad. This looks so awful. And I am just ashamed of these two who I love. I really like the music musically. I've liked them as actors. I just think this is such a disgusting thing to say out loud and for everyone to be cheering. Now, look, my opinions on Trump don't matter as I'm trying to report this. Yours don't matter either. But the reality is a lot of people have voted for him. And until you can stop forcing people to follow your own politics and pause to hear out other people's point of views, we're going to just all be fighting. And honestly, it's, it's frustrating. I made a video yesterday breaking this down and I had several subscribers. Andy, I'm so disappointed. You don't like Trump. Why? Cause the media is telling you blah, 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 unsubscribed. And honestly, I'm like good riddance because I've created this channel where we can have all sorts of dialogues. I respect who you vote. You should be able to respect who I vote. No one should be forcing you to vote for them. And if you don't force them, you're the enemy. That's a problem on either side. And while I've called that out, I got to call out the liberal behavior here as well, where it's like, what, what, what are you doing? Jack Black has been out there stumping for Biden, talking about how the threat to democracy, creating this whole thing. And now you're going to go on stage and say, don't miss next time as if there should be a next time. And sure, uh, he's joking and he's joking. Andy. It's not funny. This isn't funny. This is dangerous. And this is going to be used now by Trump and camp to show that the liberals are the reason this all happened. They instigated it. And the irony is just funny, given that they say Trump incited in all this. So look, I'm just trying to look at all this fairly on both sides. I'm not going to get my politics involved. Look, I, I, I'm not a fan of some of the stuff Trump's done. It's not because what the media told me. It's because what he did. I'm also not a fan of what Biden's done. I think they're both bozos. I would never want to risk my life for either of them ever, but neither of them should have to risk their lives. That's the problem here. And to see now Hollywood celebrities who stump for Biden out there making jokes. Now, granted, Jack Black didn't say the joke. A lot of people are reporting that Jack Black made this joke. It was Kyle, but Jack didn't, you know, ah, no, 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 no. He could have stopped it. He could have been the better person there. He chose to just let it happen, move on. Uh, but to be fair, Jack didn't make the joke. Kyle did, but I, it's it's a bad look for him as well. It's a bad look. And it's they're not the only ones who are doing it. There was some uh, congressman staffer who posted a message on Facebook saying the same thing. I don't get no violence, but please get you some shooting lessons so you don't miss next time. Oops, that wasn't me talking. Look, I know a lot of liberals who are saying this in private, and this is the problem. This is why we're divided. Now, I don't want to just point the blame only on the liberals. There is extreme MAGA. That is so cancely. They make people who cancel me at me too look like massive uh, lightweights. If you don't support my candidate, you are out. We will do whatever we can to it. It is. It is a scary time right now, and it's happening on both sides. It is. It is. And if you can't see that, if you are so clouded by the judgment of your of your politics, and that others must follow you or else, uh, that is the problem. And to be fair. To make it clear, it's happening now on both sides, and it's unacceptable. This isn't okay. Now, this staffer did lose their job. Uh, they're no longer employed for the don't miss uh, next time post comment. But this is now the world we live in, and it's getting scary. It is getting scary. And it's all being politicized. It's the other thing I want to talk about. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm a massive fan of this company, Sticker Mule. 
All my stickers come from Sticker Mule. And I got an email from them that was titled Trump 2024. And I'm like, from Sticker Mule? The place I get my stickers? What, they're now wading into the politics? Okay, what was the email? It's the same statement that they sent here, but I've now been told they've mailed it to all of their users. Now, I think they did this just for marketing because now me and countless others are talking about Sticker Mule. And I don't disagree with what they're going to say here, but I, I wanted to share this just so I could show you how this is now ballooning into a million things. And I th this, this was an interesting one. This one challenged me. I want to read it with you. Donald Trump was shot. I don't care what your political views are, but the hate for Trump and his supporters have gone too far. People are terrified to admit they support Trump. I've been scared myself. Americans shouldn't live in fear. Support Trump. Many at Sticker Mule Duel. Many at Sticker Mule also support Biden. Political hate needs to stop. Today, a bullet almost killed Donald Trump. He's got five kids, one still a teenager. No one should have to die and sacrifice the happiness of their family to run for office. If Donald Trump can risk that, the least the rest of us can do is vocalize our support and help end the hate. The more people realize that kind-hearted, compassionate people support Trump, the sooner the hate will end. I'm speaking up today and we'll do more in the future to stop this insane political hate. Awesome people all over the world love Trump. Don't limit your friendships and diminish your happiness by indulging in political hate. Vocalize your support. Stop the hate. And this is the co-founder and he posts this all over. And it's getting a lot of backlash. This isn't the powerful message you think you are. Uh, on, on the official account... Uh, while I agree with you in the extent, I'm now done supporting Sticker Mule. Thanks for showing your true self. I'm disappointed that you've put in support requests for my Sticker Mule to be deleted. I recommend anyone find it. Like, so they knew this. Alienating your largest customer base is not the best idea, but it is what it is. You're a sticker company and overpriced when sit it out. Now, look, here's my problem, because I don't disagree with what a lot is saying. And I wish he just done it from his personal account, maybe retweeted it. You are making this about your stickers now. You're just trying to sell more stickers. While I agree with a lot of the intent here, and I wanted to share it because I do think it's a fair message, this is now, you've just now sent a campaign message out for Trump and you send it to everybody who's ever bought a sticker from you. I'm sorry. I go to you to buy stickers, not get political advice. <laughs> I don't I don't really want to hear who you're supporting. Why do we need to know who we're each supporting? To me, that's what the issue is here. We wear it on our sleeve. We've become so divided and divided and, and heated and hateful, and you're not supporting our candidate and your candidate. I, I I feel so free when I realized I don't support either candidates. <laughs> They're both problematic in their own ways. And it's frustrating that we're in such a place now where we can't Take, understand that. And I, and I hear what he's saying here. And I agree with actually some of it. I think it's a pretty eloquent message, mostly, because, yeah, there are a lot of nice people, normal people who support Trump. So what do we got to do? Just push them off the edge of the world? How do we address that? Right. And I think this incident with Trump is now opening up the eyes to a lot of people. And Trump, who is a very smart showman, absolutely one of the best, knows it. That's why he said, wait, wait, wait. Let me show my defiant fists. Let me say fight, 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 because I need to fight back because look what they're doing to me. And I can't deny it at this point. I can't deny it. So when someone like Jack Black allows his bandmate on stage to make a joke, don't miss Trump next time after such a serious thing. Well, I'm sorry, Jack, you're in the wrong now. You look awful. This is an awful, awful look. Look. We've talked about, it. is it staged? What happened? At this point, we're learning more about the show. I don't think it was staged. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I still have a lot of questions as to why it even, how it could have happened in the first place. But there are actors now sharing their theories that, yeah, it was fake, used blood pellets. Those aren't real shots. Girl, a real person died, Amanda Seals. A fire chief volunteer died protecting his family. And you're going to go out there all confidently telling me what shots sound like as if you know give me a this is disgusting this hatred of trump has gotten to such a point where people will do or say anything and it's terrifying it is terrifying i've called out the scary parts of trump i'm going to do the same about the liberal biden politics to me my job is to be as apolitical in the reporting as possible while also being clear of where i stand but asking you to put that aside to not tell me who you, we got we to gotta separate it. Yes, we can support our candidates. In America, we have the choice to vote for whoever we want. But this is not the way to promote more hate, to promote more violence. You're doing the thing you're accusing him of. And you look like damn hypocrites. My, I can't believe I'm, I love Jack Black. What if this is such a bummer? We got to stop putting our politics out there. Who cares? 
This is awful. You can't, next time? Next time. Not only is it awful to say, but you're now empowering someone to like, go do it next. And I'm scared because now this is what's gonna happen. And now because Donald's out there saying, ah, the threat, the threat's real. I'm worried someone on his base is gonna do the same thing to Biden. This is getting scary. We gotta take a breath. We gotta step back. And I hope Donald, Biden, Jack Black, Amanda Seals, everybody takes a moment from this, mo this, this huge historical moment to step back and realize we must all be better. And that's not by screaming unsubscribe and everything else. No, it's about listening to both sides and having more conversations where we can come together and calling out nonsense like this, which is why I wanted to make this video. What do you think? We got a lot more coming about that attempt. Angles from all over are coming. Hit that subscribe, hit that bell for alerts. We will be reporting it as well as other reactions. I'm gonna call out the bad ones. Do you want me to keep going down this hole? A lot of you said yes. Let me know. We're still gonna give you that pop culture coverage in between, I promise. So hit the subscribe, click on the videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more.